<laughs> Black Arts Seven Podcast coming back at that you. That was the worst. Uh, I tried to do a pig. It picked in, up. I tried to pick, do a pig impersonation, and uh, then I just gave up because it was bad. M- me, Fletcher, join me as always. Uh, pig, pig. Whitehead pig lady. Pig me. Ah, pig me. Pig me. Um, pig dash me. Now, uh, the movie we watched, uh, so I had, I had to pull it up on IMDb. We watched it kind of late last night. It was called just Detroit Pig Lady, but it wasn't the legend. It was the t- tale, tale of the Detroit Pig Lady. I, I, lo- I also went down this hole today. Okay, I was like, okay, I've you were on the same page. I, yeah, I, uh, I've seen it under multiple titles. Uh, no, I could not find a trailer. Huh. We found this on Tubi, right? Yeah, this is a Tubi, Tubi movie. Now, it's not a full movie. It's only 48 minutes long. It's only 48 minutes long. And, um, oh, man, it was not a good movie. It was not, but like, I guess we were having trouble finding something to watch, and somehow, since we have those last-minute reprises, we find something at the possible last second, and we're like, I think we turn and look at each other. We Actually, I remember we I was typing in Tales from the Hood. Yeah, because we thought about watching that or and, Last Man Standing. And... Uh, I think I just typed in tail and then started scrolling and was like, oh, fuck, it's not here. And then I saw the title and I was like, or A, I couldn't read the title from the squished thumbnail. Yeah, on Tubi. So I clicked on it and all I saw was Detroit Pig Lady. And I said, yep. Yeah, and I you looked at we, me. And I was like, I think we found it. And I was like, 48 minutes. And then we smoked a cigarette. And then we had a conundrum of... It did have a trailer, at least, on Tubi, but not. You, we can't find anywhere else? I couldn't find one on YouTube. That's weird that we found one on, I guess, I Tubi found, had I one. I found a trailer for another movie called Pig Lady. But not Detroit Pig Lady. Not Detroit Pig Lady, just Pig Lady. You know? We were, was, we were slick hoping this was going to be a documentary, and it was like a local urban legend. Not the case. No, disappointed. Then, then Fletcher was like, well, what if it's a mockumentary? Well, we have watched a few of those, and I was yeah, hoping. which I do like a good mockumentary. Me too, but uh, it was Get not. Th- it was not that either. It was uh, what was uh, something Jigsaw Pruitt's attempt at a horror movie based around a urban legend that is basically just a weird, local a uh, Detroit centralized Bloody Mary slash Candyman, but she's the Pig Lady. Before we go any further, I do. Can I say the director's name? Yeah. Just because we were like, what a name, Kenyon Jigsaw Pruitt. Yeah, I think Jigsaw might be a middle name, or he just really likes the Jigsaw movies. Because he had it in parentheses in the credits of the movie, and I think that might be like a stage name, maybe or something. I, I don't know, but because the the pig mask from Jigsaw is clearly in this, uh, we believe. Yeah, it's a lady in yeah in a dress, a dark dress with a pig mask and the wig. Like it's clearly. That then tied into the jigsaw name. It's like he's he's got to just love fucking Saul. That was yeah. That, that was our theory, and we're just gonna stick with it, I guess. Because yeah. I I was like, the, like it's a it's set up like a older lady is in a store or a restaurant telling a ghost story to chill to a group of children. About like you ever you ever heard of the pig lady? And they're like, no. And so she starts telling them stories of the pig lady, and then we get th- it was just three. It was just three vignettes. Yeah, in which I love like vignette horrors. I, I do too, but I don't know. I didn't. I didn't really like it. I did not either. Uh, um, the right. Oh, like. We were comparing it to uh, Demonic Possession. Possession. Another episode we've done, which we enjoyed. Uh, yeah. The writing was better than Demonic Possession. Audio quality not as good, though. Audio quality not as good. Acting better. Or yeah. Most of the acting was better. Yeah. Um, I, they did one neat little... Vi- or, well, they did it three times. Is When the pig lady attacks you, it would freeze frame everyone in the room... And they would like shine a red light or put a fucking red s- gel filter on the on the light, and they would it would be like everyone's paused and the pig lady's attacking. But then it's like the the scene would progress, and then it would cut 
to them looking at another pair of actors standing still. It was like they were doing those. You remember those like animated comic books? It was just comic book panels. Yeah. That they'd fade in and out in the like mid two thousands. Yeah. It was like they were doing that effect. Because they put, they put some like glitchy After Effects shit on it. Yeah, they probably did like in post or something. Yeah. But we realized everyone when they were filming, it actually wasn't a still because the camera was moving. They just had everyone doing like a mannequin challenge type thing. But it worked. Yeah, it was. It, it was kind of creative in that sense. Yeah, I don't think I've ever really seen that before. It, it was a nice use of a simple technique. And we're not saying this is. Hey, me and Matt have seen a lot of bad ones over the years. But like this was inventive at least. Inventive with at least, with yeah. A shot. We've seen worse. Oh, for sure. Oh, well, by far. Yeah, but demonic, we've seen better. D- demonic too. possession. Yeah, uh, splatter. But uh, we we did give note to that was a nice little fucking touch. Yeah, and for it, something it, so indie or it, independent, and it almost gave the feel like the pig lady could attack a group of people super fast. Yeah, it, it's like she was almost like. I guess, for lack of a better word, anime fast. Yeah. Because, like, like, no one got away from her. Didn't matter who you were. Yeah. Like. no, get, Not even getting shots off if you had a gun. Yeah. And it, the first time we saw it in the first vignette, it was like, whoa, that was fucking weird. But, like, they didn't really, inter- uh, they introduced, a, like, fucking nine different people. For the second with one? A, with a, well, no, the first one. Oh, yeah, yeah. With a core cast of the four girls. Which I thought we would follow throughout the whole movie. Because it's only 48 minutes. But then we don't. And then it jumps to like a year later and there's another lady's like in her house all freaked out because she's been looking at pig pig lady lore on the internet. And her friends come over and make fun of her. They're like, well, we're going to go on a tour. Like, I bought tickets to a tour. Yeah. The, uh, I guess. The flows and ebbs of the vignettes did not flow great until they got... I mean, once they got to the pig lady, didn't matter. Yeah. Uh, second one... First one better than the second one. Third one was a little bit better because at least that cop had shit to do, kind of. I actually don't like the third one. I didn't I like the it. the third one the least because they set up like... We already have pre-established pig lady lore. We got to talk hard, about that one. Hard pig lady lore. And then in the third vignette, there's just a random second muscly pig guy that butchers people. For and they her. don't really explain that. No, not at all. Then we get the worst fucking cop slash sheriff slash captain, whatever you love. Captain slash SWAT team dudes that arrest a guy doing pig lady research. They arrest him for some reason. And I got to talk about it. after that initial arrest or uh, I think he, didn't he actually have drugs or something? I can't remember now. I don't think that, I just no, I don't, I don't the, remember why they arrested him. It was the a guy. Weird, they transition weird into the vignettes and get to it or like they just go straight into it. Not not super dialogue heavy that third one at the beginning. Yeah. Seems like they just busted that guy. I can't remember why off the top of my head they, now. They busted the guy, then they talked about the they saw they were like you noticed there was he had pig lady uh, research on the table when we busted him, yeah. And it was they were like, no nah, man, you qu- quit talking about the pig lady. Not but, around him. And they're like, oh, what, what was what was the fucking line the cops said? I, I was gonna get to it. the captain in the third one. His sister was one of the victims in the first vignettes, so I kind of like. The, oh, okay, I missed that part. Yeah, they're like, don't talk about that, or, or maybe I'm misremembering because we didn't start this till two in the morning last night. They said that. Because they were like, he went back, they're like, have they got any evidence on his sister's case from like a year ago? And they're like, nah, and this cop goes, but all the evidence is pointing toward the pig lady. And me and Matt stopped and looked at each other, and we're just like, we paused it, like, I was like, never in any fucking horror movie have I ever seen, I was like, the cops have never been like, all the evidence is pointing to it being Candyman, in, in the Candyman movies. All the por- but yeah. the cops said it like, yeah, we've had that happen before. Where it's it's uh yep, ghost are real man, moons mo- moons haunted. Like <laughs> as funny as it was, maybe like I guess it is a legendary thing in that in that community of of Detroit that sometimes pig lady gets people. Yeah, and yeah. The cases go unsolved, and we just jog up the pig lady. I, and, and, but and, the way the line was uttered was like 
Damn. It's Don't. Pig Lady. Like, I thought one of the other cops went, we should go off Crenshaw and pick her up. Yeah. They said it like Pig Lady was just like someone. Yeah. Yeah, like, yep, yep, Dracula. Yeah, actually, all the evidence is leaning towards Dracula. Yeah. Like, what? No. Well, it, okay, it, it'd be like this. If I went outside right now and my car was fucking crushed and me and Matt called the, or called, we called the cops, it'd be like, if the cops showed up and the insurance adjuster showed up, all evidence pointing toward Godzilla, man. We don't know what, what crushed your car. Sorry. He must have stepped on one. Kaiju's got you. Yeah. Like, it was just such a delivered, such a weird delivery. I think uh, that cop was, a, that was the weirdest cop out of his trio or, or four cops however many he had the uh, one that said that we, line we only got the, well we saw the four and then we then it was just the two guys yeah just the well, two well no I guess the four came there, back the other yeah. two came back at the end yeah but yeah yeah it's oh it's such a strange movie and a short one but you know it had we liked that we really did like that effect and uh we've seen worse uh we're at like 11 minutes now man uh we want to rate this one and or just tell people to check it out or not check it out. I don't know. I, I want to say check it out if you're like us and you hang out at two in the morning and watch start horror movies at two in the morning. Yeah, like it's it's a thing. It's a movie. I, like we've said, we've seen way worse. I, I turned to Whitehead immediately after and said, "We, it's better than Splatter with cool, Fell Dog yep, that we watched. Yep, better than Demonic Possession. Yeah." For but, sure. But, like, if you if this guy had been given, okay, if you took just the first vignette, took away the whole storytelling bookend shit, take that out, only do the first vignette and extend it, even if it was just for 48 minutes, if it was 48 minutes of just the first vignette of them, like, summoning her jokingly, and then, like, her popping up shortly a couple times, and then, then she starts attacking them, and then it's them, like, trying to defend themselves against the pig lady. That and could have been a better movie. That would have been th- that would have been a neat movie. Yeah. I mean, it, it may, I mean, maybe he could have made it a feature length. I'm just sitting here thinking. Yeah, I mean, if he'd had, if, you know, if they had thrown more money at it, probably. I, I think maybe what happened, and I'm wondering, did he want to make a trilogy, and he just only had the money to make, like... 15 short minute vignettes and he, but he had a trilogy arc in his head. Maybe. Does maybe, that make sense? Yeah, it could be. He couldn't uh, expand that first one. So he had to chop it and then kind of do the second one is a weird sort of, pr- pr- the second one's the odd one out to me. Cause I guess the first and third one, uh, relate or whatever. But, uh, do we want to rate it, man? Or we just want to uh, say, check it out sometime. I'm just going to say, check it out. Yeah. Uh, check it out. Like, I, I feel like they didn't get to make the movie they want, so I kind of don't want to rate it, if that makes sense. Yeah. But, hey, maybe, if it, maybe that was the movie they wanted to make. Maybe they, maybe they just wanted the 48-minute movie. Which, but, uh, anyway, way, I think we're being very fair. No one else is doing a Pig Man episode. I guarantee no, that. No, they aren't. You won't and, see this on a fucking uh, Nostalgia Critic. And it was, I think, Jacoti Films put it out. Oh, God, yeah, I forgot about that. Uh, uh, we, I, fe- I meant to look into that. Because it was like since 1991, and we were like, maybe there's other stuff that he, that this company's done. Maybe there's pre-existing pig lady lore. That we don't know about, but... Um, yeah. We'll catch everyone in the next one. Oh, yeah. Oh, before we go, Whitehead. Pig lady, pig, pig, lady, lady, pig, pig lady, lady, pig lady, pig lady, pig lady. I always, you said it four times, I said it two. She's not going to show up. Two of her are going to show up. No, that's six. Nah, it actually doesn't work like that because they did that at one point, and I was like, "Wait, what?" I was like, "It's been said like five times." Oh yeah, you're right. She didn't show up. It only she only shows up when one person says it three times. That's right. You're right. And it does it does have to be a mirror, right? Uh, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. I don't. I don't fucking know. All right. Well, peace, everyone. Don't let the pig lady get you. Don't let her get you. Oink. 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 Be careful out there in Detroit.